Here we're being asked for data from the graph that is going to complete the statement. And what is the statement? Here we're studying urban physical expansion. The researchers conducted an analysis of more than 300 cities to determine whether urban land expansion was more strongly influenced by urban population growth or by growth in GDP, a measure of economic activity. Because efficient national government is necessary to provide urban services and infrastructure that attract economic investment, they propose that absent other factors, the importance of GDP to urban land expansion would likely increase relative to the importance of population growth as governments become more efficient. So there's one factor that's controlling how the change happens, and that's this right here. Because efficient national government is necessary, then, as we see, the importance of GDP kind of grows compared to population growth as governments become more efficient. So this was a study of what is the most critical factor in urban land expansion. Is it money, GDP, or is it population growth? And the finding is that efficiency determines which one's more important. For a more efficient government, then GDP would be more important. And on the other hand, I guess that implies that if GDP is less important, then it means that the government must be less efficient. So in this table, we have two regions, region one right here in orange and region two right here in teal. And in region one, as time went on, population growth, which is the lighter bar, kind of became more important and GDP money became less important. But in the second region, as time went on, population growth became less important because this is on its way down here. And GDP became relatively more important. Notice that the bar is way higher in the later years. So what's the difference between the two? According to this text, it would be efficiency because what we're told is that the more efficient the government, the more important GDP will be to urban land expansion. So which answer says that? A says, national governments of countries in region one experienced declines in efficiency as time went on to a later period from an earlier period. That kind of mirrors what I said. If GDP is less important then according to the statement being made, it must mean that they had less efficiency. B, countries in region one experience a slower rate of economic growth in the period than countries in region two, despite increasing national government efficiency. Well, there's nothing in there that would suggest they have more government efficiency. In fact, the opposite would be true, that because GDP is less important in the later years, according to the statement being made in blue in the text, they must be experiencing less efficiency, not increasing efficiency. C. National governments of most countries in Region 2 became more efficient in the period from 2000 to 2014 than they had been in the period from 1970 to 2000, but those of several countries in this region did not. Well, answer choice C sounds pretty good until you get to this part right here, because that's basically saying there are some countries in Region 2 that were exceptions to the rule. That may or may not be true but there's nothing in any of this that would suggest that we're talking about outliers that go against the rest of the region. So now looking at D, national governments of countries in region one and region two generally became more efficient in the period from 2000 to 2014 than they had in the earlier period. Well, that's saying that the two charts are similar, but as we looked at them, the two charts were really different because the relative importance of population growth compared to GDP behave totally differently in the two regions. So we're not really looking for similarities in the regions. So the answer here is A.